Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do an unboxing and review on the Skylight Calendar. So let's open it up and see what we get. We've got the manuals. There's some soft material here. Here's the actual calendar. We're gonna take it out. Here's what the backside's kind of heavy, so be careful. We've got a bunch of brackets. We've got the power supply, we got some screws. We are gonna have to plug it in and power it up. So it looks like we got a part B, part A bracket, a bag of screws, look like some wood screws for mounting it, but also some assembly screws. Okay, so we have a stand mount or a wall mount. It looks like this is the wall mount. You're gonna mount this to the wall and then it's gonna sit on this little hook. So here's the top of it. We got some buttons, a power button, a volume button looks like. But again, the wall mount, you're going to mount it like this on the wall, and then this will fit right in there when it wants to hang. Like that. That's how it hangs on the wall. Looks like there's a power mount. Okay, let's put the mount, we, we put it on the table. This is A, and you're going to line it up with this screw and this screw. These holes right here, this bracket goes on the bottom, so... We're gonna put like a countersunk machine screw in there. Okay, so here they are. They're kind of the bigger ones. So just put it in there, it takes a number two Phillips. We don't need these, just tighten them down to they're snug. Now this is B, you're gonna turn it over. There's like a part there. It's gonna go right here. Now we got the smaller countersunk screws. They're gonna go right here, but you'll get your screwdriver through this opening right here. So it's a little tricky. You gotta get your screwdriver through that opening to tighten it down. And I just happen to have this little screw gun. It works perfect. Okay, now this is a pretty solid bracket. Now we can set it down. There's what it looks like. It's got a little bit of a tilt to it, but it is very stable now. Very stable. So you will need, with that bracket, you're gonna need about seven and a half inches on your table. And it sits upright about nine and a half inches. And then left to right, 15 and a quarter inches. Now if you hang on the wall, it's gonna come out probably around an inch. Now the cord is six feet long and you are gonna plug it in and around back. Now you will need to get the Skylight app in order so you can communicate with this device. Okay, so let's, here's the power supply. I've got the app downloaded, but it sticks out from the wall an inch and a half, inch and a quarter by about two and a half. And then again, around back, you gotta, it's gonna go right here. Plug it in and let's go around the front here. Looks like it turned on automatically. There's the Skylight app. Okay, so that took a, about a minute to come up with my Wi-Fi. And I've got the app open, so I think I can just, maybe I can select Wi-Fi. Select my Wi-Fi. That's my Wi-Fi. And then type in my password. Okay, it's got a touch screen. It says it's connecting. Okay, so now it shows you, to get the activation code, you gotta go to the app which you can scan that with your camera, but I'm already there, so let's go into the app. They are gonna need an email. Okay, I had to give it my email, my uh, phone number, my name, and then give it a passcode. So I had to give it a passcode. Now, I need to add a device. This is a Skylight. Yeah, it's a Skylight, so I want a Skylight calendar. I'm sorry. Confirm, are you activating? Yes. device name okay so this is a unique email address I have to create this so I got to type something in here it's going to be at our skylight.com and then there's a trial offer photo screensaver I could try I'm gonna put not now I just want to I just want to use it as a calendar 
Okay, now I can activate the calendar. There's the code. 184542. So. And now it's spinning. Uh, I guess it didn't take it. 0 0.5, Maybe I entered it wrong. Okay, I must, I must have entered it wrong. Now it took it. Okay, once I asked, once I answered a few questions, it wants to sync my calendar with Google, Outlook, Yahoo. Um, so it's got several I can pick from. I got Google. You can have it do two-way sync or one-way sync. I'm going to do two-way. So if I make changes on here, it'll affect the Google calendar and vice versa. Okay, I had to give it permission, log in with my Google account, uh, give it my password, then the Google wanted permission. So there's about three or four steps. Now it's downloading the calendars. And I really haven't done here yet anything. I did turn off some of my video lights. This was kind of, it is a little dim, but maybe later on I can turn up the brightness or something. So this is taking about five minutes for that to go across. All right, I can select. So I, I could add more than one calendar, looks like. So that's kind of neat. Sync calendar. Sync underway. Back home. So this is the Skylight app. It just says my calendars. Click that little arrow, then it goes to this. We can go to settings. Nothing there yet, just notifications. Here's some settings. Bright, brightness is at 100%, okay. So it goes really dim. I would like it a little bit brighter, but maybe that's okay. Seems pretty responsive. Let's see if I wanna add something to there. Click the add button, add an event. So we can change how this looks up here. You can go calendar, you go month. I don't know right here, month. You can go to the week, the day. I like the month look. Now I added this on my phone, that was a little bit easier. Let's try to add an event. All right. Uh, go running on the fifth. I can change the time. Oh, I like that, that's easy. Category, pick a synced calendar. I guess I got to do that. And hit save. Okay, so it did, it did add that. And then if I want to look and see what that is. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I can add chores. So I click on the photos and there's a, I created one chore, feed the dog. Photos looks like it's, you get a 14 day trial, but it looks like they may want to charge you. I'm not really sure about that list. I can add a grocery list. I can tell it to sleep. It turns off the vi device. So if you want the screen to go dark during the night, you can tell it when to go into sleep mode. I think that's a light sensor if I'm, I'm right. So let's go back to calendar. Yeah, I mean, you could select different calendars, I think, right there. I, or no, that's a chore that's doing. So it seems really, really nice. So in settings, it does have automatic brightness. I've got it off. It does want you to add a zip code 
for um, weather. That's about it for settings. I can do I can do large. So everything I kind of like large. Maybe everything's a little bit bigger. Yeah, large is a little bit nicer. There's the weather now. Time, date. So yeah, and I can, I thought I could scroll, but I can't. I can go up here, hit the next one. You gotta look close. When you cycle through the different um, months, it's only up here in the corner. Do you see it? You're always shown the current date and time. And that's off by an hour. I must have the wrong time zone. Let's go set it. Yeah. Um, central time. So it's kind of viewable from the side, mainly from the front. It looks the best. And here's what it looks like. I've got most of the lights off in the room. Okay, so, it, you know, I'm, I might have been expecting a little bit more, but it does seem pretty nice. Um, I got to give it a try for a while. I bought this with my own money. I'll put a link to it underneath the show description notes. You know, set, you know setup was relatively easy. I, I'm glad I don't have to pay anything for the calendar. Now, where they're going to want you to pay, I think, is for photos. This would be a nice photo frame, I think. You know, when you're not looking at the calendar, it's going to show you some photos. So that would be kind of neat. But if you want the... the if you wanted to display the calendar all the time, I think this is a really good one. Again, I'll put a link to it right underneath the show description notes. If you end up purchasing it, the product won't cost you anymore, but I do get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of helping support my channel. I did think there was no lag between putting an event here and it's showing up there. I can add multiple calendars. So yeah, very, very versatile. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.